If you don't uh, revolt against tyranny, and the, this is what I call the bottom line, mm -hmm. is that not only do you have the privilege, but the duty to revolt when people force upon you and society that which is absolutely contrary to the word of God mm -hmm. and which really is tyranny. So Samuel Rutherford was an amazing fellow, and what he pointed out quite properly is that God is never the author of tyranny. Therefore, wherever tyranny arises, we have a right to stand against it as a matter of principle. And this was the basis upon which the Founding Fathers built this country. For those who are not paid subscribers on Spotify, I released the episode script for my post-Platonic podcast episode that I did on Substack and I inserted the links to the songs on YouTube, plus a bon some bonus content and a couple, uh, and a preferred version of one song. And um, I'm also gonna include the playlist of those songs in the description of this video. So if you are interested in listening to those or whatever, you can check it out. I did write it more or less so that the songs tell part of the story minus a few in inapplicable verses because there's a lot more songs that are about romance and don't directly replate relate to the um the full story but you can check it out and um i hope you enjoy it thank you you see velikovsky was a trained psychologist. He had studied under Wilhelm Steckel, who was a pupil of Freud. I think he actually knew Freud himself. He worked for about 15 years as a psychoanalyst before he came to America. And Velikovsky should have known, as much as anybody, that the difficulty when you're trying to cure a patient is not in finding out the cause of his problems, but in how you reveal it to the patient. Because if you don't do it right, the patient is gonna be very angry and will fight you and you will get nowhere. He should have known this, but what he did is the opposite. He wrote Worlds in Collision, where all his guns are set forth. He didn't hold back the theory about Venus, which I would have preferred him to do. He completely disobeyed all the rules of how you communicate cure to a patient. And instead, he published Worlds in Collision, which was a direct slap in the face to all of American big science. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to use what I call foul language. I checked with Dave. Uh, maybe what I'm about to say, he won't invite me back again. But what Velikovsky did by laying out worlds in collision, foolhardy, a direct blow in the face to science, he told mainstream science, you're full of shit. And he made it quite plain. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers.